understanding, have a flashback, dive into memory lanes. Hello, language enthusiasts. Today, we're embarking on an exciting journey through the English language. We'll explore a fascinating phrase that connects us deeply with our memories and experiences, have a flashback. This term is not just about language. It's about how we perceive and recount our life stories. So, let's dive into the world of flashbacks, understand its nuances, and learn how to use it in our daily conversations. When someone says they have a flashback, they're talking about a powerful memory that comes to mind suddenly and vividly. It's like a scene from a movie playing in your head, taking you back to a moment from your past. These flashbacks can be triggered by anything, a smell, a sound, or even a familiar place. They are so vivid that you feel as if you are reliving that moment all over again. Flashbacks can be of different types, each with its own significance. 1. Emotional flashbacks. These are intense feelings that take you back to a moment of strong emotion, like joy, fear, or sadness. 2. Sensory flashbacks. These involve your senses and can make you feel, smell, or hear things from the past as if they are happening right now. 3. Visual flashbacks. These are like watching a clip from your own life, where you visually recall a past event in great detail. Understanding these types can help you recognize and articulate your own flashbacks or empathize with others when they share theirs. To get comfortable with the phrase, let's look at some examples. When I walked into my old school, I had a flashback to my first day there as a child. She had a flashback of the concert when she heard their song on the radio. During the meeting, he suddenly had a flashback to a similar situation he faced in his previous job. Notice how the phrase is used to describe a sudden and vivid memory, emphasizing the spontaneous and immersive nature of the experience. Understanding and using the phrase, have a flashback, correctly can enhance your communication skills, especially in storytelling or sharing experiences. It allows you to connect with others on a deeper emotional level and express your memories more vividly. It's not just about language. It's about sharing life's profound moments and the emotions they evoke. And that's a wrap on our journey through the intriguing world of flashbacks. Remember, have a flashback is more than a phrase. It's a window into our past experiences emotions, and memories. By understanding and using this phrase, you can enrich your storytelling and connect more deeply with those around you. We hope this video has illuminated this fascinating aspect of the English language for you. Until next time, keep exploring and enjoying the richness of language.